Hello and welcome to Monkeys with Fire. How is everybody tonight? Hope you're all well. I hope you're all set for a good weekend. Uh, and of course, we'll start that off with a game tonight on TFI Games Night. So, what game are we going to play? We are going to play a game of Quetzal from Gigamic and Hash. Hachetti board games? Ah, oh, I knew I was going to get somebody's name wrong tonight. <laughs> it was bound to happen, wasn't it? Exclamation ruined. <laughs> oh, I was trying so hard. So, so hard. <laughs> uh, hello, Sarah. <laughs> oh, ju just in time to catch me uh, mess people's names up. <laughs> A 21% chance that I will ruin this pronunciation? Yeah, yeah, I think it's probably a bit higher than that. Okay. <laughs> well, hopefully that, that's the uh, the names out of the way. So let's. But what is the game about? So, Quetzal, the city of sacred birds, has just been discovered. You have five days to explore it and recover the most beautiful artifacts that are buried within. Will you be able to manage the team entrusted to you each day to optimise the excavations? Be more cunning than the rest of the archaeologists to emerge unscathed. Ah, exciting, exciting. So, are you all set and ready to join me tonight, Sarah? <laughs> you are. I've just seen Lornor's comment. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we can talk about uh, questionable uh, archaeologists <laughs> in a bit. Good evening, Sarah. Hello, hello. Oh, oh wow, that, that's, that's a husky voice. Is, is, is this, <laughs> is this p post illness? Welcome to Monkeys with Fire after dark. <laughs> <laughs> yes, most definitely. But actually, <laughs> but actually, this this might be very uh, fitting for your character uh, in the game. So, so actually, oh wait, uh, here for all the regulars, fantastic. Yep, it's not <laughs> it's not getting up there. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you are you are feeling a bit a bit better then? I take it. Yes, my. Face is just congested a bit. I'm sure you can hear that. <laughs> oh, most definitely. But you're you're you're, you're soldiering <laughs> on, as, as they say, yeah. I am. I got I got my Vicks Vapo Rub to inhale. We're good to go. Awesome. All right. Well, <clears throat> let's uh, go to the table then. All right. So we have the game set out. Uh, this is a worker placement game with some set collecting and some bidding uh, mechanics in it. Uh, and it should be relatively straightforward for me to explain and to play. Uh, so let's just go through the rules. First of all, right off the bat, love the artwork on the, uh, on the game board. So vibrant, so full of colour. Um, and of course, it, it instantly starts conjuring those... Um, those archaeological uh, 1920s <laughs> uh, man with a fedora sort of vibes, which I really, really like. Cities of gold. So let's just go through the, uh, the rules here. What do we have? So each player leads a group of adventurers and archaeologists who have traveled to the ruins of a forgotten temple on an expedition. They will need to collect the artifacts scattered around the island and deliver them to the harbour to win victory points. The player with the most points at the end of five rounds is the winner. And uh, our rounds are indicated by the plane working its way uh, down the airstrip there. Once we get to round five, that will be the end of the game. Uh, because it's a worker placement game, we have various locations uh, where we can put our workers. And I will point these out. Uh, we'll go into a little bit more detail in a moment. But let me just... Uh, where's my list? It's on the back, isn't it? 
All right, so let's just do a quick uh, identification here. So what do we have? Uh, yes, here we go. So we have the camp. We then have the Stella of Knowledge. Loca so this is location, think of this location zero. This is location one. We then have location two, which is the <coughs> temple. Location three is the quarry. Then it's the small temple. And then it is the ruins. Then we have the black market. We have the village, number five up here. Number six is the harbour master's office. And number seven is the ships in the harbour. So those are the locations that we are able to place our workers. Uh, yes, we, we, we do actually need, I'm just looking at the chat here, we do actually need a third player. Now the game does have a uh, mechanics to allow if we didn't have a third player it could uh, automatically do it for us but I'm thinking that the game is relatively straightforward somebody in chat can act as that third player making the decisions so uh, that's how we'll do it it's pretty pretty easy um, so let's continue so what the way that the game plays is that there uh, are four phases and they go in this order. So it's rolling of meeples. Now, regulars to the channel will know that my skills in regards to rolling dice are not particularly good. I automatically like this game <laughs> because there's no dice and I'm rolling meeples. And hey, you can't go wrong rolling meeples, surely. Shall we find out? Okay, let's give it a go. So... I just need to double check here because it's depending on the number of players determines the amount of meeples that we have. So let's just see. So three players, it's six meeples. So we do have the six. Yes. So here we go. This is my group of meeples. Give them a good shake. All right. So let's take a look. Let's see what we have. What I have scored effectively. So a standing meeple, any standing meeple, well, we've got two standing meeples here, they would automatically score me a coin, which is brilliant. All right. So I'm going to get a, po a coin. And coins are important. What do we have? Oh, we have three standing meeples. Right. So white, well, so we go. So dark meeples, they count as an adventurer. And what's important is when we're looking at the different locations on the board, you can see that they require certain colours of meeples. And you can only place the correct colour in the correct location. So a dark meeple is an adventurer. A white meeple is an archaeologist. A meeple that is on its side can either be an archaeologist or an adventurer. You get to choose. The character meeple, so you do have one large meeple, and I'll bring this up to the uh, to the camera because it's printed with your character's image on it. But also, so you've got the front, so, that, so there's me. And then you, you have the back of him as well. <laughs> so he's got his hat, he's got his hat on his back, which is awesome. Oh, that's cute. Okay. So the, so the character meeple, no matter how you roll it, is always the wild card. It, it can be either adventurer or archaeologist. But as I say, any meeple that is rolled and it stands up automatically gains you one coin. And coins are what you were going to need to be able to do things, uh, to be able to score points. And of course, points at the end of the day is how we're going to win this game. So we're going to roll our meeples. And once we know what our meeples are, then in turn order from the first player, we're going to start placing meeples down into the various locations as we see fit. Once all the meeples have been placed, then starting from position zero, uh, which in fact, as soon as you put a meeple into position zero, 
it automatically scores. So when we jump to position one, we're going to work our way around the board and basically allowing whoever has uh, dominance in an area or whoever is the top of a chart going first, they're able to then do their actions uh, in that particular area. Uh, we will work our way around until eventually we get to the, the ships. And then once we've got to the ships and resolved everything, we then tidy the board up then for the next round. We move the marker along to the next position and everything starts again. And that's it. So, the locations, these are what are important. And there are three different types of location. There are unique locations, bidding locations, and free locations. As in, um, anybody can go into a free location, because I know that I always say free wrong. <laughs> See, I can say Quetzal, I can say the, the city of sacred birds, but I can't say free. <laughs> so here we go. Free uh, or three? It's free. It's free. Free. Okay, so not free. Okay. Not, not the numerical free. It's free. It's a free location. You I, said not a number, like not number three, but it like the price is zero? The price is zero. Yes, it's free. Oh, so I did have it right. It is free. Yeah. Free, yes. I, 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 I blame my early education. It's something I've never been able to do. I can't say free. I can't say Thursday. I can't say four. And anything else with TH. You I, can I'm... say free just fine. Free doesn't start with a TH. Yeah. Yeah, free I can do. It's all the TH ones that I can't do. Anyway. Okay, anyway. so it's the, it's the F. It's the F free, not the free. TH it's, free. It, it's the free free. Free, free, free. <laughs> so, please. That cleared <laughs> so, up nothing. It cleared <laughs> up nothing. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Um, <clears throat> let's just find a good example. I think this is going to be a good example here. So players place a meeple in the required color and must immediately pay its associated cost in coins to occupy the space. So this is the temple. So in fact, if I just jump to the uh, the description, this is probably the easiest part. Yes, because this does everything. Okay, let's start from the top. So the camp, the camp activates immediately during meeple placement. Adventurers and archaeologists can be placed here. So you can see the symbol. We can put as many in as we like. They can be of any color because it's, it's gray. Once you go in there, once you put your meeple in, you receive one coin and are able to re-roll uh, one team or character meeple that is still in your pool. Remember, you'll have already rolled all your meeples to determine what type of character they are. So that's what the camp allows you to do. We go on to then the Stella of Knowledge. This is location one. So only archaeologists can be placed there. So hence indicated by the white symbol. You cannot have possession of the first player marker to go there. Uh, when it's activated, the player, so only one person can go into this area. The person will receive the first player marker and will gain a discovery point. Ah, so what are discovery points? Discovery points are tracked along the top of the board. And as we reach to certain positions, so let's say two, four, six, you will get rewards. Reward, the first reward is a coin. The second reward is a victory point, which are marked along this edge of the board. The sixth reward is a uh, upgrade, which we'll talk about in the marketplace. And then the eighth is two uh, coins. Then 10 is four victory points and 12 is six victory points. So this is a track that we can all move along. We can all score whenever we reach that particular uh, marker. So. That's how you get, or one of the ways of getting discovery points from the, uh, the Stella of Knowledge. We move on to the temple then. The temple displays five spaces that cost between one and five coins. So these are ranked five at the top, one at the bottom. Ranks, five, uh, ranks one to four require 
the white meeple. Rank five can take, I think that's either or, isn't it? Yes, so it can take e e either uh, color. But of course, you can only put one meeple in each. Uh, the highest position costs five coins, but you get to choose first. And what you're able to do is take two of the cards that have been the artifacts that have been discovered in the temple. Position two costs four coins, and again, you can take two. Position three costs three coins. You can take, let's just get this correct. You can take one from the temple and then one from the artifacts deck. Position four costs two coins and again, one from the temple, one from the deck. And position five takes one from the temple. All right. Uh, moving on. So we've got these three locations down here. So these can be either or light or dark meeples get placed into here. Uh, every player that won... Oh, hang on a second. I might we just get it right. Oh, these... No, these are bidding locations. So I have to explain bidding locations. Yes, everything else has been unique so far. These are bidding. These are, these are the interesting bits here. So basically what happens is you put your meeple into that location. Another player can put their meeple into that location. And let me just make sure I get this right. So these locations don't have a fixed cost, but instead use a bidding system. When a player chooses a bidding location, they place as many meeples of the required color as they like. If the player can choose the meeple color, they have to choose either an adventurer or an archeologist, but not a mix of both. Afterwards, another player can take the space by placing more meeples than the previous player. However, those meeples must be of the same color as the previous ones. The previous player recovers their meeples without switching their sides and will be able to use them later in the same round. So this is a fight for dominance in these locations. So whereas everything else you're just typically just placing one meeple down to take a location, here you can dump a whole load, but they've all got to be of the same type. But somebody else then can come along and push you out if they play put more in of the same type. You will get your meeples back, and I think there's nothing stopping you when it comes around to your turn, if you had some spare meeples of the same type, you could put yours back on into the same location and push the other person out. And it can keep on going until ultimately you can't do it anymore. Okay. Uh, Amberin saying, meeple wars. Yes, most definitely. Uh, and so basically the reward that if you are the most, if you are successful, then what do you get? This particular location, you get to draw up two cards, plus you receive one victory point. This location, you get to draw up two cards, and you re receive one discovery point. And this location, you pick up the two cards, and you receive one coin. So I can see why these are going to be heavily contested, because you're going to get two cards in this, which is really good. Uh, and also potentially points, potentially discovery points, which can lead to additional points. Uh, the black market. So only adventurers, the dark meeples, are allowed in there. So again, this is a bidding area. The winner of the bid can discard an artifact card from their hand and receive seven coins. So that's good, because coins are important. You need coins to be able to uh, get higher positions in the temple to be able to have the first choice of these cards. So that's worthwhile. The village up here. This is a unique location. So you've got the black meeples or the either or. This top position takes two coins. Second position takes one. Third position takes one as well. First position gets first choice. 
and there are three different upgrades which I'll explain as we actually uh, get into the game. Uh, these will get refreshed every round. You can hold two upgrades, uh, two, sorry, active permanent upgrades on your player card, which will give you bonuses. If you are required, if it's an immediate bonus, then it gets discarded, but you keep hold of it because some of these upgrades give you victory points at the end of the game. So getting upgrades is worthwhile as well. And finally, am I right in this? The Harbour Master's Office on number six. So adventurers and archaeologists are allowed. Every meeple placed here costs two coins. For every meeple placed, the player can deliver up to three artifacts cards. Uh, and so we have to do, and then the ships. So location seven. Adventurers and archaeologists are allowed. Mixing colours is forbidden. So once the colour goes in the first colour, that determines what colours must be placed there. Uh, the winner of the bid can deliver up to six artifacts cards. And it's all about getting your artifacts to either of these locations because ultimately your artifacts, so let's uh, let's well let's look at an artifact. Let's look at this one. So this is where the set collection part of the game comes on in. So you are trying to collect similar cards. If you can build up a set, then you're going to get more points. So when you deliver this card, it is worth, as one card on its own, it's worth three victory points. If you can get two in the set, it's worth six. If you can get three in the set, it's worth ten points. All right. So this is the uh, this is where all the points are: collecting cards, building the sets, and taking them either to the harbor master or to the ship to be able to trade them in to get your points. The cards themselves, some of them do have bonuses as part of the card. Um, so when you, is it actually when you, when you guess, when you give it in, so you can either gain a coin or you gain a discovery point or you gain a victory point. And that is basically it. That is the game. Any questions? Uh, Sarah, is there a limit to how many artifacts we can collect? Nope, no limit. You can ha collect as many as you like. Okay, ready. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we do need somebody else in chat to take on the third player role. Or we can just have a collective, hey, it's the chat. You can all sort of... Uh, suggest what you want to do should we do that can i see my character up close you can remember we, we need to have the uh so like chat could be collective green that's it chat is collective green oh that's cute you, you, like you, the you, art you, in this game Very it, is, cute. It, it is lovely isn't it and, and do you want to see right. your meat your meeple <clears throat> okay yeah, hey here. chat you guys are green First person to say what, what happens, or like a group vote, whatever. <laughs> there you go, there's you. Aww. Little, little you. What does the back look like? What is, oh, the back. <laughs> there you go. Oh, cute. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? <laughs> right. So then, uh, we need to determine a first player. I mean, it's totally up to you. If you if you want to go first, and I I would say ladies first, and I'm more than happy. Sure. Yeah. All right. So you have the first player. If you can keep hold of the first player, that's two points for you. So we'll oh, put the, okay. So we'll put the first player just there. All right. Hello, so, los torpedoes. You and the rest of chat are player green. So yell out what you want yours to do. <laughs> Yeah, get get ready and good evening. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. So here we go. I've never done this before. Uh, this is going to be interesting. We are going to <coughs> ro roll your meeples. All right. 
Well, okay. So you've got what? You've got two standing up. Oh, I have forgotten one thing. I'm going to put those just there. There, there. Those there. I'll try and group them. So in fact, I think she can go there, can't she? Because if you're standing up, you can be anything. Uh, that goes there. So you've scored two coins right off the bat because you're two standing My meeples. My character meeple. Your, ca your, char your character meeple, basically, I've, put, I've done them in, in this way so that any, anybody on this top row can be anything. And then down this bottom row, it's whatever color you see. Okay. okay. So as first player, you get four coins to start with. So right at the start, you've got six coins now because of your roll. F second player gets five coins. And third player gets six. Oh, no, he gets five as well, sorry. Five as well. There we go. Right, so we got that correct. Okay, we'll do the chat. We'll roll for chat. So we all would roll simultaneously. Whoa! <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna move mine down here so we got room for chat to be able to see what they're doing. So he goes there. There's a there's white, another white, got black. I remember chat. The light-colored ones are the white ones, are the archaeologists. The dark ones are adventurers. <clears throat> okay, and I'll roll mine. Even though the glare kind of makes it hard to see on that green, they all look light. Yeah, yeah, that's, well, these two are black, these two are white. Uh, in fact, it's a good point, let's put them up here. That a bit better. Yes, there you go. Doesn't matter if I've got the glare down yeah, here on mine. That's good. Yeah, you can see yours right. And so for me, I've got whites and dark and that. All right. So you're the only one who had a uh, standing up meeple. So you did. You did rather well. Okay. We might not bother with the, uh, the tray anymore. Anyway, we'll see. So it is beginning of... So that's roll, that was phase one, rolling meeples. Phase two, you now get to place your meeples. Okay. So um, you basically, it's either putting one meeple into the unique locations or putting a bunch of meeples into the bidding locations. Okay. I can do multiple places, right? You can, but when you put, if say for example it's a unique location, you'll put your first meeple in there. It will then move on to green. They will put theirs in, and then move on to oh, me. Okay. Right. If you come to a bidding location, you could put multiple meeples in. You could still have some left, but you'll put them all in in one go. Okay, I'm going to take my three. Dark ones. Yep. And put that in 3A. 3A, okay. So let's take those. They go into 3A. Done. All right. Chat. What do you want to do? Where do you want to put your meeples? So, so if chat doesn't give us an answer, what's the um, rules third player? Um, I would have to go and read. <laughs> so oh, basically, okay. they, they, there's, a, there's a kind of game bot that will take over and it does have a set of cards and it, yeah, it, it, it would tell us oh, okay. what to do. So... Was anybody in chat listening to the rules? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, chat. <laughs> Essentially, the bottom locations, not the 
not the um top left and right locations, but all the circle locations. Um you can either put in the black ones or the white ones cuz see the little pieces have like the black or white, but if it's mm -hmm. gray, you can put whatever in there that you want. Yes. And you put as many as you want in there and then like I've put those three dark ones in. None of you guys have enough to beat me in that location of the dark ones, so you if you wanted one of those locations, you'd want to put yours somewhere else. That's very true. That's very true. Those are like bidding areas and you have to have the most meeples to collect the bonuses from there. Um, the two, the left and the right, you can put your meeples there, but you just got to pay the little coin to collect those bonuses. That's, that's essentially it. I think that that pretty much covers it. I'm just... So green, you have two white meeples and two dark meeples to place. And then I guess the two standing up could be whatever color you want. Yes. Yeah, well, remember, your character meeple can be any color as well, yeah? Yeah, okay. I'm just looking here, so if we do need to go and use the bot, <clears throat> let's quickly... Uh... We might have to put so. So I love I love how the game has little additions that have all the artwork st uh, part of it, so it doesn't stand out. It actually just fits in with everything, and so you can't tell that there's a a bonus element added to the board. It's it's really clever. I like it. There's one over here on this little ship, which uh, only the eagle eyed will have uh, will have spotted. So. Place the village cover and the upgrade cover as indicated. We got a, a village cover. Ah, does that mean then that the village... Right, I see. So what happens... Okay. Oh, is, is Roger? Roger, are you chipping in? Excellent. Okay. That's good. Just about. So you're going to say your white... Two whites to three B. All right. Two whites to three B. Awesome. Decision made. Great stuff. And then as you watch chat and you pick up on what's happening, you guys can all. Yes, absolutely. Uh, yeah. So... Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm going to put three whites into three C. All right. Over to you, Sarah. Um, I'll put my one white in the top temple part. Okay, so that's going to cost you five mm -hmm. coins. Yeah? So your one yep. white into here. Five coins. One, two, three, four, five. Done. Okay. Green. It's a Roga or Los Torpedos. You want to make a decision? You have two black and then you have three, let's call them wild cards. They can be either or, yes? You have five money. What is four? Four is the black market. So if you have an artifact, which you don't at the moment, but you could sell an artifact for seven coins. But remember, we activate these locations in order. So you will have gone to the temple and you will have gone to these locations before you reach the black market. But it requires uh, only black meeples going in that place. Is that one a bidding location as well? It, it is a bidding location as well, yes. Yes, the, these are all bidding. Uh, so the Black Market and the Harbour Master. And if you uh, turn and, them and the into ship as well. the Black Market, you get coins. Yeah, okay. you, get, you get coins, yes. So it's one card for seven coins. And then if you turn in like the one or the two or however many of each to like the ships, that's how you get the points? That, that's how you get the points, yes. Okay. But 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 also at the end of the game, any leftover money 
is points as well, but it'll never be as much as actually shipping the artifacts. Mm -hmm. It belongs in a museum. Because it's like three coins equals one point, right? Yes, that's it. Okay. Oh, so somebody watched the video. <laughs> <laughs> the three to one ratio, that's a big deal. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What was in the free location? So the free location is just here. You can put in either um, black or white. Uh, you will receive a coin and you receive the... Oh yeah, so you receive a coin and you can re-roll one of your meeples. And two, what is two? Sorry, excuse me a second. <coughs> So the two, the temple is the that temple. I went to is you pay um, coins to then get to do whatever it is on the right-hand side of those columns. So I get to pick up two cards. Next player gets to pick up two cards. Next player gets to pick up one card and then one from the the so draw pile. So you don't get it. to, like, it's a random. Nope. You get a random. And the yeah. further down you go, they're cheaper spaces. But... If I'm in the first spot, I get to pick out of those cards first. So I paid more to be able to have a choice. That's, that's it. Absolutely. I don't know how my sick brain has picked up on these rules already. Uh, you, well, well, yes. You're we doing, need you're, to put this doing, down in the books. You're, do, you're doing very well. You're doing very well. Yeah. <laughs> how much for the second spot? It will cost you just four coins. That's it. You can use one of your white meeples, which would be one of your wild card meeples, wouldn't it? And the reason you're wanting to pick the cards, just as a refresher, is you see the pictures on them. If you have three of the same picture, you'd get 10 victory points for it. If you have two of the same, you'd get like six versus just getting like one for one. And those prices may vary depending on the item. So, Rogue, you're saying let's go there with two. So, if you want to go to location two, it requires <clears throat> white meeples for positions two, three, and four. But on position five, you can use either white or black. But it doesn't matter. You've got, you've got white and black as well, so you've just got to decide which color you want to use. Yeah, the standing up meeples are, are wild cards. Yeah. So I'm guessing you guys are wanting to do the second spot. Is that what 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 y'all are were saying? That being the case, you could just use one of your standing up one joker. One joker. To joker. Yeah, second there spot. we go. Okay. Okay, and that's going to cost you four. One, two, three, four. Done. Easy. Right. Hmm. Hmm. I am going to put in... I'm going to put in a black meeple on position five. And it cost me one coin. Done. Sarah. Okay, so for the... Um, the To deliver the artifacts cards, not on the boat, but at the docks, how many meeples do I need to have in there? Uh, for the for the so not on the boat, but in the docks, you can put as many as you like in there. Remember, it's a bidding... Position. Okay. So if somebody comes and on then in, with in more, order to use it, I have to to pay how much? Two coins. Oh, I don't have that. You don't have two coins. No, no, no. Okay. So let's take my three remaining. Yep. And put it in number four. Put it in number four into the black market. You're doing three there. So you are specifying that there. It's well, what color? Well, actually. No, you could. Well, yes, you no, could. No, not number four. The one. The one with the re roll. What number is that? The re roll? Oh, you mean the free location? 
Oh, is that the free location? Yes. Oh, okay. So you can put one in there, and you can re-roll one. I was one. wondering what number the lightning bolt was. <laughs> yes, it's, it's like zero, yes. So it's, a, it's an instantaneous. You put a meeple in there. It uh, allows you to re-roll one of your meeples, and you gain a coin. I only have to put one in there? Um, that's a good coin, because you want to put multiples in, don't you, to be able to get lots of coins. Let's find yeah. out if you can do that. Let's just just, just double check. So the player immediately receives one coin and can repeat a roll, team or character meeple from their meeple pool. If the meeple is standing, player receives one additional coin. So no, it's only one meeple per go. So you get to so you put a meeple in, you'll get to receive a coin you'll get to re-roll one of your meeples. If that meeple is rolled and it is standing up, you'll get a coin for that meeple, and then you'll be able to use that meeple, and you could then put another one in later on. Okay, so, so it's still a bidding one, right? Or it's automatic? It, it's automatic, so it's not a bidding one. Okay, then let's put somebody in there. Okay, well, well, ultimately, your character is is can be either or, yes? So let's... Well, actually, yeah. we all can. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So he goes in there, right? You receive a coin. You get your coin. Tactically, you might want to re-roll your character, mightn't you? Because it doesn't really matter. Yeah, just re-roll one of them, because if it stands up, then I yeah. get a coin. Yeah, and maybe the larger character meeple might have more chance of getting standing up. I feel up. like that's not a thing, but okay. <laughs> well, she's on her side. You just want to roll the big one. Oh. <laughs> she's on her side, but that, that's not that, that's not a coin. So well, she's on her side. You've got to be standing up. Standing okay. up. Okay. Okay. But you've got one coin. That's the one thing from that's my fine. view is that standing up in the side looked the same. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Green. Green. What are you going to do? Okay, you guys do that. I will be right back. <laughs> You're doing the same. Okay. So what are you going to put on in? You've either got your wild card or the black. So which one do you want to put on in? And then which one do you want to roll? Good evening, Paranoid. Welcome. I'm sure you'll pick this game up pretty quick so you can help her. Uh, Los Piros and uh, Roger with some of the decision making if you want. One black, okay, so black goes in there. Which one are you going to roll? Re roll the hero, all right. There we go, we're getting some speed now. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. That goes there, but you get yourself your one coin, which is good. I am going to Yeah, I'm, it looks like you guys are playing. <laughs> I'm going to put I'm going to put white on in there and it's going to cost me 2 coins. Done. Okay, back over to Sarah. I will take my two remaining pieces yes 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 and put it in number six right okay so well we're gonna have to determine tell me what color mm. oh actually does it white no actually i don't think it matters well hang on let me just double check i think it possibly does though hang on let's just make sure so this is the the harbour. So, oh, adventurers and archaeologists allowed. Every meeple placed here costs two coins. So it's every meeple. Oh. So for every meeple placed, the player can deliver up to... So no, it's not a bidding. It's not a bidding. 
It just means that for every meeple, it's unlimited as far as the amount of meeples that go in there. But every so I only meeple, need to put one in there to, to deliver to, to, three goods. To do three goods. <clears throat> but if you put okay, two so in... take one of those out. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, so if you put two in, you could deliver six goods. Yeah, but you don't have the money for that. So that goes there, and you, your two coins... Yeah, I figured it wasn't a bidding because it was grey like the other yes, one. Yes, yes. It's only the, the half and half ones, isn't it? And with the plus mm -hmm. symbol. It's the plus symbol that's the bidding. Yes. Okay, over to green. What are you going to do? You've got three meeples left. You've got two coins left. One more time, the same. Okay, and so what color do you want to put on in? If when you're if you when you're answering, if you can sort of uh, tell me everything uh, in one go, that that'll help. You've oh, got. No, Los Torpedoes, if you're just saying it, go ahead and say it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. First, first one to say it is the first action we'll do. So, so go for it. There we go. Black, roll the hero. Excellent. Okay, so that goes in there. You receive a coin. We're going to roll the hero. All I need is a hero. No. Yeah, he's on his head. So that's been done. Uh... So my turn? No, it's my turn. Wait, oh. a, wait a minute. <laughs> I am going to put my hero, who's acting as white, up in the, uh, where, what was it called? The Stella of Knowledge. That's where I am. Okay, it is now over to you, sir. Hold on. Oh, sorry, sorry. Now you've <laughs> caught me in the middle of rubbing vapor rub under my nose. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it smells so good. I mean, it's also nice to like be able to inhale through my nose, but it I it smells good too. <laughs> Hold on. I I just got to keep sniffing stuff. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. So you've Don't got... worry, guys. It's just fixed vapor rub. Nothing exciting. <laughs> so you've got... Um... This is a family game, I'll have you know. So you've got um, just your hero meeple left, counters black or white. You've got no coins. Now, if I put that hero into the um, reroll space, can I take my other guy out to reroll it? Or no, it doesn't work like that. Uh... Then the game would never end, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you basically have <clears throat> I guess you could put right. her put her in to go and get one coin, but you've got no okay. person okay. to roll. Um The top space uh that's what is that what does number one do again? Uh well nobody else can go into number one because I Oh it's I'm just in the one person. One person, deal. yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, so I'm in okay. there. Okay. Um and I don't have coins to go on the right hand side, so yep. I'm trying to get better, Amberton. I'm trying. <clears throat> um, let's just go ahead and do that and get a coin. Get your coin, yeah. I think yeah. that's probably a good idea. So you get a coin. Okay, green. You've had time to think. What are you going to do, green? You have three coins. And two meeples that act as any color. Have you worked out a winning strategy? You know what it's like with these type of games, of course, we're all just sort of 
feeling our way a little bit, we're finding out what works. And of course, we'll, once we've done this first round, we'll have a little bit of confidence of what all the different locations do. Uh, so one more time, what can you do at location four? Well, location four is it can only be black meeples. You give in one card and you receive seven, seven coins. A whole seven yes. coins. Yes. So when you collect your cards from from section two, when it gets down to where you are in four, you'll be able to sell um, one of those cards for seven coins if you wanted to. Yep. So, so Rogue is suggesting go to two to spend the free coins on this last <clears throat> location uh, using and your collect. using yeah. your white. Yeah, you could do that. Yep, that's what they want to do. Is that is that? Also, what... I was going to say technically that's what they do anyways because he said it as a statement and not a question, and we said first person. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. So we're going to go with Rogue. We got the thumbs up. Yeah. From. Torpedoes. Uh, my my chat is frozen. Okay, so. Okay. Yeah. So that's. I got you. you got I got me, you, got me. boo. <laughs> that's free <laughs> free coins in the bank. Done. So you've just left now with one meeple. I've got one meeple left, a black meeple. I'm gonna go to this marketplace. Cost me two coins. Put the coins in there. Probably should have explained the market fully before, because but never mind. We all we'll, we'll we'll get there. So back, Sarah, you've used everybody. Back to green. You've got one final meeple. What are you going to do with him? They said last is black on four. Ooh. Last black on four. Done. Smart, smart. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, uh, oh yes, I did give the coins, didn't I? Yes, when we did all that. So that's been all done. Right. So we work our way around the locations. This has been done. Location one. That's me. I get my guy back. In fact, you get your guys back because it's all been done already. So let's just put those there. Um, I get to receive the... First player marker, so I'll go first in the next round. And I receive one discovery point. So And you only get those two points if you have it at the end of the game, right? At the right? very end of the game, okay. yes. Yes, yes. So there's plenty of time for people to wrestle it from <laughs> me. Okay. So we've done one. We go to two. So Sarah, you get to choose two cards from the artifacts in front of you. Yep. I want the number three card and then the number one on the second row, the two that look alike. I don't know what they're pictures of. Okay, so they are pictures of, uh, let's just say, ancient masks. So just to but give you a But they're the same thing, right? Yes, they are. They're the same thing. Okay. So just so to explain, uh, two cards will get you five points. Three cards in the set will get you eight points. Okay, this particular card, it has an, an icon in the top corner. I don't know how well you can see. That's going to get you a bonus extra point. Okay. All right, so you have those cards. Done. That's you done. Green, you get to choose two cards from the temple. What do you want to collect? So what do we have? And I'm going to sort of say these in order... Because there is a, an order of value. So this is a mummy. That's the best item. The masks were the second best. This is a book, third best. This is a weapon, fourth best. And this is pottery, fifth best. Top one, bottom two. Top one. I want the weapons. Bottom two. Want the weapons. All right. Weapons are done. So that's your first one. Right, you get to choose again. Which two are you going to take? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, no, no. So the next one, you get to choose one they said item. Just one. They said the mummy. 
You're going to take the mummy, okay? And then you get a okay. blind <clears throat> item from the deck. What have you got? What have you got? You've got some pottery. Pottery! But the pottery... I just want to just double check to see. Do you get it when you trade it in? I think it's when you trade it in. Yeah, I was yes, wondering when we get the little corner. It's when, it's when they're delivered. It's when you've Harry delivered pottery. them over here. Yes. Okay. So that's been done. Okay. Me. I get to choose one from the board. So I'm going to take the book. Bring my guy back. And I get one from the deck, which is a mask. I get to take one from the board. We're going to take ceramics. I get one from the deck. Another mask. You don't get another one from the deck. Oh, I don't do it. We'll put that away. There we go. Oh, I'm oh. on it with this game. Who you, is uh, this person playing? You, Who is this? You need to be ill more often. <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're, you're on fire. <laughs> okay. Uh, we come down to... Oh, what is it? What is it? The, is it the ruins? No, not the ruins. The quarry. We come down to 3A. <laughs> yeah, well, no, no, we're doing it them thematically. So you get to receive these two cards. But you also receive an actual point. You're the first one to score. You're on one point. Well done. Uh, we're Heck over, yeah. We're over to green. Green gets these two cards. Heck yeah. Okay. And green scores... A discovery point. Done. We're over to red. Red gets these two cards. And scores heck yeah. a coin. <laughs> what are you saying? What are you saying? I'm saying heck yeah. I'm cheering heck, for everyone. Heck heck yeah. Heck yeah. Okay. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> right. Over to green. Green in the black market. Um, you get to discard one of your cards. Well, let's let's see what cards you've got. Let's make them into handy. I vote little... you discard the cheapest card. I, I I would probably agree, but they might have a strategy. So you have two ceramics, two weapons, and you have a mummy. No, you have two mummies. So in fact, you've got you've got two sets here. Happening. Sell a vase. It's yes. It's, it's the ceramics that you've got. To, you want to get rid of. They're the cheapest. Sell a vase. I'm. They said sell, sell Harry. Sell one Harry. of the pots. <laughs> Harry the pot. There we go. All right. I would so, think they want to sell the one that would get them the extra bonus. Right. Uh, no, no, they've kept, they've kept the bonus one and they got rid okay. of the Harry Pot. So you get seven coins. Look at that. Big spender. Okay. We then go to purple. So purple, you can trade in three cards. Yeah, I'm going to, you mean deliver. Deliver. Deliver, you've got that's, your... your that's what we want to do, right? This is what you want to do. You've got your three masks. Yeah. So, this is going to score you. Because you've got three in the set, it's going to score you eight points. But also, your cards have two bonus points as well. So you've scored ten points. So you're up to eleven Heck points. Heck yeah! <laughs> Heck yeah! Boom! Done! Okay. Oh, have I jumped? I have jumped, sorry, because it should have gone to me first, but it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter too much. So this is the oh, bit that I right. haven't explained. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So this is the marketplace, and this is going to be difficult. Uh, but let's let's see what we actually had. So next round, I will explain what these items do. So this particular upgrade received two coins every time you deliver a tablet. Uh, this item. Where is it? Where is it? Is it that one there? During a delivery, if you deliver at least three weapons, you gain two additional coins and two additional victory points. That's pretty good. And then this item is a plus one. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, you can deliver one additional artifact to the Harbour Master's office or ships. 
So basically, the market area allows you to break some of the main rules of the game. Okay. I will explain what goes into the marketplace properly in the next round, okay? Because you probably want to know that. <laughs> so I'm going to take that particular item. It locks on into my character. So I know that whenever I, I receive two coins every time I deliver a tablet, for as long as that remains in my character. Now, you can have two upgrades. You can't have two of the same upgrade. So if you then ever have to discard, it goes to the other side of your card. But you keep the upgrade because some of these upgrades at the end of the game are worth points. All right. So I think that's everything. We clean... So even if you don't have them activated... Yes, so you if, still get points for that. There'll okay. be work points at says, the end of the game. Yes, okay. yes, 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 absolutely. I think it is just a case of you redo the um, board every time. You don't leave like the straggler cards. No, no so that's it. Everything comes oh. off. Okay. All right. All right. I got this. Let's go. Right. I hadn't, I figured out this game. We're on phase two. <laughs> right. So we need to have new cards in the market. So we take we'll take the first three. Let's find out. What's going in the market? We'll identify them so you know what the upgrades are. Ah, these upgrades have a cross on them. So these go instantly into your discard as soon as you receive them. But it means you get the bonus instantly. Yeah, okay. So what this, I think it's going to be obvious. Uh, three money, two money. Yeah, but basically... Two money is worth three points at the end of the game. The free money is worth two points at the end of the game. Okay, so that's pretty cool. This so the one, two money is worth more? The two money is worth more points at the end of the game, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And this one, which looks like tins of beans. During a delivery, if you deliver at least three pottery, you gain one additional coin and three additional victory points. Wow. Oh. Oh. Wow. <laughs> someone, delivering, someone delivering pottery? Right. Yeah. Okay, pottery, pottery. But does the pottery all have to match? Like the symbols on it all have to match to turn it in? No, no, because all pottery. There's only essentially there's five suits of cards, right? It's oh. it's, it's 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 irrelevant what the picture is. It's the actual suit. So any so, type of pottery, like my any pot type of weapon, my pot and their pot could be turned in together, yes. and yes. it would still count as like turning yes. into. Okay, yes. so okay. The, the pit. The picture is just thematic. <clears throat> yeah, it's the suit. Oh, I thought that the pictures had to match. Okay. So there's five. There's five suits, and so long as you are doing the same items, then that's it. All right. So let's refresh everything. So, pottery, pottery. Better not be another pottery. Oh my god. All right, what? chat. I hope you guys have all right. figured out how to play. So remember, first person in chat to say what happens on your turn. That's what's going to happen. Oh, did you shuffle? Yeah, well, I did shuffle. I shuffled <laughs> quite a few times, but it's always the case with brand new <laughs> games, isn't it? That you find that it doesn't matter how many times you shuffle. <laughs> I'm sick and sassy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at this. No, come on. Right, I'm going to just pick randomly from them in the middle. <laughs> that's getting ridiculous. <laughs> we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. <laughs> We're gonna do that. Don't make me laugh. Laughing will cause me to cough. Do that. See, Roger was that. on. Like the picture apparently does have to match, just item wise, not yes decoration on item wise. So if anybody, if anybody wants to pick pottery, uh, this is also, and again, you guys can't see, but again, it's another nice little feature. Down in the bottom corner of all the cards, there's a number, and that is how many times of that type of card is in the deck. There's 75 cards in the deck. I can tell you now there's 21 cards that are ceramics. But ceramics, of course, is the cheapest items as far as victory points. I can tell you that the the mummies, right, there are only nine cards. So if you think about it, if you were to collect three mummies, 
There's only three times that can be done in the entire game. Okay, roll your right. meatballs. All right, okay. So it starts with me, because I'm first player. Roll in the meatballs. Very exciting. Okay, <laughs> Okay. We got, we got one person stood up. So that gets a coin straight away. Done. Uh, we've got E's on his side. E's a wild card. These are all my wild cards. Oh, he's a wild card. In fact, I've got I've got more wild cards here. All wild cards apart from two. Oh, this guy's the wild card, and oh, this guy he's, he's definitely a wild. A wild he's card. a wild card. Oh, such a, <laughs> such a wild card. All right, purple, purple, purple. Come on, money. Ah, uh, no joy. But you've got so she's a wild card. Not a single money. Not a single money. Wild, wild. Wild, and then three black. Okay, so you got four wild, three black. Green. Uh, wild, 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 wild. <laughs> There's a lot of wilds going on here. Wild, one white. All right, everyone happy? Let's play. Um, ooh, goodness me. I'm going to put two white in three A. Over to Sarah. Put one wild into lightning bolt. One wild into lightning bolt, which means it gets you a coin and you get to re roll a meeple. What are you re rolling? Uh, one of the wild meeples. Uh, hero or, or default? Little guy. Little guy. Roll little, guy. little guy. He's now black. Green, okay. what are you doing? <laughs> I'm just looking at the chat. <laughs> One of the archaeologists is sober. <laughs> no, they're all wild. They're all party archaeologists. They're all celebrating those bones. <laughs> uh, okay. Two wild on free C. You do have to pick a color, though. You do have to pick a color, yes. You want it to be white or black, because it's wild, so, but, so you get to decide. Yep. So... Uh, at the moment, I put them as, as black, but you decide. White or black? White, okay. So I'm just going to turn these round. So I can... Yeah, just poke them over. Just boop. <laughs> I suppose, well... Knock them down. No, because you've, you, you've got to keep them, but, you've got, but I know that they're white because it's what's facing me. So they're white. Why um, can't you flip them down be, so we can see that they're white? Because it's got they've got to... Hmm, no, because he chose them to be white. That makes because, them white. Though. Yeah, but the thing is, if, if he it, picks them up, then they're white. Yeah, but if they go back to his reser reserve, then they're still wild cards, aren't they? Oh, I thought that it turned them to white. Okay. No, no, it doesn't turn them into white. It's just they okay. act as white. Yeah. So everybody else okay. knows it's got to be white. Makes sense. Okay, so over to me. I am going to. E e e e e. I'm going to put three white. So I'm going to do my wild cards, free white in there. Over to Sarah. Number six, that top one, does it cost two? 
or three? Number six. Uh, no, you mean, five. You mean yeah. five? Uh, it's two coins for the for the first position. Yes. Okay, then give me that first position. <clears throat> okay. And which uh, so it's a black my black one yeah yeah so black goes in first position okay done uh, green over to you Just in case my text is uh, frozen, Sarah, if they... No. Uh... Chat. Hey, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> One Come wild. On, on post on... four. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> post four is going to be here. It's going to have to be... So it's black then, isn't it? To go into there. Okay. Done. Ah, remember, because it's a plus, any of these can be... Uh, you can put more on in to try and wrestle control. Um, Position four on two. It's my turn. Is it's what my he turn. was meaning. No, 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 oh. no, no. On his turn, on Posi his turn, that's what he meant. Position four on two. On two, yeah. Oh, right. Um, yeah. I was wondering when you put that there. I was like, why would they say two then? So yeah, so number four, so it only costs them two coins. One wild on po position four on two. So position four on two, it's, it's, going, it's, going, it's, going, it's going to be white, isn't it? So Yeah, he's going to turn his wild one white. Oh, right. A wild one into white. Done. That costs you two coins. Oh, yeah, but you've got plenty of coins, haven't you? You get some change. There you go. Done. Uh, okay, over to me. I'm going to put my meeple in the on the harbour master. Cost me two coins. He is uh yeah, he's done. Over to Sarah. So if I put multiple um meeples into the lightning bolt, does that mean that I get the things to happen for each one of them? You can only do it one at a time. Oh, okay. Right, well, but, then, but you can yes, as you did before, you could do it multiple times uh, as you progress through. But you'll you'll go to the green and then it go back to you, so, <clears> so on and so forth. Yeah. Um. Three B is that white or black? Three B is white. They're all white down there. Okay. Yep. Um, and then I just have that one card. You have one card. You have a ceramic, which when you trade it in, uh, it's going to get you a discovery point. Okay, so I'm going to take my three black. Three black, yeah. And put it down on four. On four. Okay. Done. Yeah, that's the, that's the, the, the black market, The right? black market, yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Over to green. So green, you have three wild cards and one white. Uh, position five on two for wild. Uh, so put that in there. Cost you one coin. Done. Uh, me. I'm going to put my my dude in on the ship. He's going to be... So if he's front on, 
He is white. Okay, over to purple. We are going to put my last little meeple in lightning bolt <coughs> and then roll the other one. Last roll the big one. So last little in there gets you a coin and you're going to roll. Oh, okay. So you're just flat on your face again. Um, uh, the that, answer is it. five. Torpedo. What did it land as? Um, well, it, because you're hero, it lands as whatever you want it to be, doesn't it? But, it? but it didn't get you an extra coin, unfortunately. Oh. All right. But you got your coin from going in there. Um, it five. Put it on the first spot. Okay. Or the next one, three, two, it, it goes backwards. Yes. So okay, over to green. Yeah, like you have four coins, so you can afford to put it on the two position. You you can go into two, yes. Not on twos? Oh, okay. But remember, two allows you to pick up two of these cards, whereas three, it's one from here and one from the blind deck. Oh. You're going to get, you're going to put the white in on one. Okay. Awesome. Yay. Right. Straight over to you, Sarah. What are you going to do? Um, I guess the only thing that I can do. Going to do it again, is... yeah? Well, oh. you know what? Go on. I could put it on, um, I can, how much is number three over there? Or how... two, two and three in, in position five are, um, both one, right? Uh, these are one coins, yes, on number five, yes. All right, then put it on number two. Number two? Cost you one coin. Oh, look at that. Awesome. Uh, over to green, you've got two wild cards left. Uh, yes, going on to position one was three. It cost you no money. <clears throat> so you're the only player active you've got two wild cards left you have four coins run into the lightning bolt and try to roll your last one to see if you can get another coin Pope position three on two so you're going to put Position three, cost you three coins. Done. You got one guy left. Is it your turn or is it? No, I've used all my meeples <clears throat> and you've used all yours, so it's back to green. So you're going to go on four. Or do you mean the, the lightning bolt? Not quite sure. Four is with Sarah. So you four can't won't really... get you anything. Yeah, you can't do anything on four. The lightning bolt will get you... The potential of a coin. coin. I, well, I yes. assume that's what you were wanting to do. It'll get you it'll definitely get you a coin and potential of an additional coin. You want village. to go to the village? Uh, yes, okay. Yeah, you can do that. That goes in there. It costs you the one coin. Done! Excellent. Okay. So, purples, come on back. Green comes on back, and green takes first player marker. Wow. Green is just going to dominate here. So, so, pretty much, you can pick three artifacts from the temple. So, you just tell me which three artifacts you want. No, you already used up all your meeples. Now we're collecting. We're collecting now. We're, mo we're moving on. So just tell me which three. You get two bonus ones. So, uh, from the deck. Hey. Uh, have you seen Have you seen this? Right? That the actual little box to put the cards in is a little uh -huh. crate. 
I would assume Los Torpedoes that you're going to want to take the the three more expensive items. The the mummy and the, the two bats. I can tell you now that the two items that you have received blind are two bat. Well, they're actually weapons, aren't they? So you got two of those already on your way. You wanted to go to the village with the free coin and not on the market. The village... Oh. So you didn't want to go to the village. You wanted to go to the right. um, lightning bolt. The okay. lightning bolt. So that yeah, goes there, bolt. and that would just get you one coin. Oh, yeah, so I need okay. to I need to roll. Actually, no, I, it wouldn't roll, would it? Because there was no one no, to roll. No, it was his last. It was his yes. last thing. Yeah. Okay, so that resolves that. So we call so, that space the lightning bolt space now. <laughs> yeah. It's the, it's the camp. Cause the yeah, because the village is that that section up there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yes, one more coin back. You're quite right, yes, because you paid for that as well, didn't you? Okay, so what are you taking? Are you taking the weapons? Are you taking the mummy? Are you taking ceramics? Mummy. He said mummy. And then two more from the board. Is he, sorry, is he typing? Because I can't see yes. now. Yes. 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 So um, the they said the mummy. mummy. Yeah. Taking the mummy. Done. One Harry, one weapon. So, I'm gonna, <laughs> so we'll, we'll, we'll let's take the weapon that, that has the bonus, and we'll take the Harry that has the bonus. Because that makes sense. And so I'll actually just clean all this up while we're doing it. Okay. We come down to the ruins. So I get to take those two cards, and I receive uh, one point. Woohoo! I'm on the scoring track. Uh, we come over to here. I get to take these two items, and I get one discovery point. Woohoo! Which gets me a coin. Artifacts that you're taking off of the board, are you shuffling them back right back into the, di the no, deck? Or? No, to make a discard pile. Okay. But if, but if we need to come to it, actually, I don't think, I think we won't end up going into the discard because that's it. There's a, there's a limited number of items, isn't there? <clears throat> um, okay, green, you get to have these two items and you receive a coin. You get your dice back. Okay, purple. It's I think gonna... three in that too. Oh, so, down there. Oh, it's down there first. Yeah, so this goes so I'm here. I'm going to turn in that card. You're going to turn you your card seven. in. You get seven coins. Excellent. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. We joke from four to five. So what are you having? I'll take the, um, the three and the two. These two bottom ones here. So these are yeah. in instant uh, play. So you get five coins basically instantly. And these go as used bonuses. You have five coins. Yeah, but don't we... And I so, don't get the points for them till later? Later, till the end of the game. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's that done. Your guys come back. Sorry about that. Uh... Over to me, so I can trade in um, with the Harbour Master three cards. So I'm going to trade in my three books, and that gets me seven points and one discovery point. So we'll do discovery point and seven points. One, two, three, Did four, my... five, six, seven. Did the card that I sell have any corner bonuses? Uh, because you sell it, you don't get the bonus. Oh. Be because you're not you're not delivering it. You only get the bonus when you deliver. Oh. When you sell, you lose it. But I don't think it did, actually. So. Oh, okay. Then uh, continue. Yep. Yeah. We got to the ship, and I can now give in six cards. So I am going to give in... I have my three ceramics, 
So it gets me four points plus one for the bonus. That's five. One, two, three, four, five. So that was three of those cards. And you know what? I'm just going to trade. Oh, do I want to? I don't have to. No, I'm going to trade in the weapon, which gives me one point and one coin. I'll take the coin. Oh, and I've just I forgot something. I take the point. But remember, I had this bonus, didn't I? And it was whenever I gave ceramics in. Oh, so tablets. Receive two coins every time you deliver a tablet. So I delivered three tablets, so that's six coins. So, there we go. Right. Everything done. That goes. Plane marker moves to round three. We get new items in the marketplace. What do we have? So, something else about ceramics. Uh, three coins instantly, worth two points at the end. Two coins and one discovery point, worth one point at the end. See? I'm, I even know what the symbols now all mean. It's, it's that easy. You pick it up so, so quickly. Uh, green is going to be the first player. I am desperately shuffling these cards as well as I possibly can do. It's, uh... But we are going to get a lot of repetition. You know, these archaeologists, they just find the same stuff over and over again. Right. Okay, green. Here we go. Uh, no one standing up. So that's the first thing. So, wild, wild, wild. You got a lot more sober folks wild. this time. And then you've got two white and a black. So four wild, two white, and a black. Whoa! Okay, we got one white. I got two standing up. Wow, my goodness. There is something actually quite cool about rolling meeples because <laughs> it just doesn't feel it doesn't feel like it should ha work but it does so Peter said dig hard party harder <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is a, this is a real party uh camp of uh archaeologists you, who would have thought they have such a good time Well, yours are all very flat, Sarah. Uh, uh, so you've got three black, three white, and one wild card. Okay, over to green. You've got three, four wild cards, one black, two white. And you have three coins. Where would you like to go? We are at the halfway point of the game. We need to uh, we need to speed things along. Cost How much two. does six six cost? Coins. Two coins per person, but each person that go in, goes into six can sell three cards or can turn three cards in. Yes. <clears throat> yes, that's correct. What style of game is this called? This is worker placement. 
primarily. But as I said, there's set collecting uh, and there's a bit of bidding in it, in it as well. I like it. It's simple. It's easy to figure out once you know what everything is. Worker placement games are really, really good fun. Um, there's many, many different types. Is that what like the train game would be? No, that's that's that was oh. t t tile laying. Oh. Um, th th this is a particularly good example, and this is really, really good as a sort of fam do... family type game. So really, do you cool. want to put a wild? I assume a wild on the um, lightning bolt for a for a yep. roll and a coin. Okay, so. Wild in there, you get yourself a coin. For a roll and a coin and right. a good time. Who, who, do you, who do you want to roll? <laughs> Ch -ching. It is a family game, Sarah. <laughs> I assume that they want to roll a wild. Well, they might not. No sense. You want to roll, roll the hero? Yes. Oh, roll yeah. The There's that option. It's better to stay, keep your wilds, isn't it, really, I suppose. Oh, look at that! There we go! Hero on on his feet, so you get a coin for the hero. All I need is a hero. Boom, boom. Hero in the middle of the night. Type thing. <laughs> um, moving on, moving on. <clears throat> I. Uh... My turn. No, it's my turn. Oh, okay. Oh, honestly, oh, trying to steal the turn. Right. I'm going to put four. No, you know what? I'm not going to do four. I'm going to do six. Are you talking about the song that he was singing? <laughs> <laughs> I've put six into 3B. No! And they are black. No, I wanted three B. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you did, but, but I am take taking three B. So that's six black. It, it can't be six black. Yeah, no, it is. Yeah, it's six black. Of course, we got seven in total, haven't we? Uh, okay. All right then. Okay. I'll take one of my white players and take yep. number one. <clears throat> You can take white player to take number one. All right, done. Over to green. Amberden, there's no dice in this game. So that being the case, everything's good. This is game that was made for me. No dice. She's like... I need a hero who's fresh from the fight, but I'm like gross, cause then they'd be gross, be like, <laughs> sweaty they and dirty, horrible. and they'd be Probably blood. Be bloody and very unsanitary. <laughs> it's stinky and unsanitary. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And he's uh, got to be freshly cleaned from a fight. <laughs> that's it. So so maybe he's from the fight, but he had a shower, and he maybe splashed a bit of aftershave, and, and you know, put a nice. Torpedo says two two harbor. To to harbor. So I guess if they want to put two people, which which at which the harbor, which two people? <clears throat> yeah, do you want to put two of your wilds there? Do you want to? Because anybody can go there. Well, you 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 only get to. You you only get to place one in, but it costs you two coins for your first no. go. Oh, I thought right. that you could put as many people you, as you, you wanted. You 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 can, but not all in the in the in the same turn. It's only these bidding ones that you can put on in multiple oh. people all in one. So you can put a person in there, cost you two coins. When it comes back round to you, you can put another person in there, cost you two coins. Okay, so I guess if they're putting one person in there, do you want to put one of your wilds in there? Do you want to put a white or the black player? Yep, you just you just need to decide what color. Uh, you can put different colours in, yes, because it's a grey area, so it yeah, doesn't matter. Dealer's choice on that one. Yep. But of course, whatever you put in might affect, you know, how you do other areas. We're gonna one put wild. one wild, alright. So one wild in, it costs you two coins. Done. Alright, excellent. Um 
do you know what? I'm going to put my white in there. It's going to cost me two coins. Done. Sarah, over to you. Okay. Um. Hmm. Let's put my three blacks into three A. Three into three A. Done. Los Pedos. You have two wild, two white, one black. Two white and three, three C. Three coins. Two white in three C. Two white in three C. Done. Uh, back over to Sarah. Okay. Um. You have two white and one hero. Yeah. Let's. You have quite a few coins. Mm hmm. You got. Uh, what's that? You got 12 coins. So. Uh, Los Papitos only has three coins, right? Three coins, yes. Okay, then I will put <clears throat> one white into section two on number three. It's going to cost you three coins. Done. Los Pedos. Two wild, one black, three coins. One wild on the free coin. So one wild on the free coin. You get a and coin. Then roll hero. Roll yeah. hero. Yep. Let's see. Can we get you another coin? Can we? Nope. Sorry. So it's another wild. Okay. Back to Sarah. You have two, one white, one wild. You've got um, nine coins. Let's put, um, <clears throat> let's put my little guy in the free space and then roll the big one. Little guy in the free space gets you a coin. Oh, I used the wrong guy. Oh. Yeah. Somebody should have stopped. Was it black I put in there? Yeah, you just put down that black one. Right. So it's your white one that goes in. And rolling your hero. She landed on her head. <laughs> okay. Los Pedos, um, your yep, turn. Yeah, they wanted to see their artifact cards. They want to what, sorry? They wanted to see their artifact cards. Yes, okay. Let's work out some groupings here. Let me just quickly do this. Uh... Yeah, because they're trying to get rid of some of those. Yeah, some serious... Okay. Yeah, Torpedo, you probably want to put somebody in a, another person in number six. Right. <laughs> you've you've got uh, three mummies. So that's one set. You've got two pottery. So that's kind of halfway on, an, on one set. You've got one mask... All on its own. And then one, two, three, one, two, three. You've got two sets of weapons. Yeah, so you could put another person in. Well, heck, you could put your last. You can afford to put your last two people in there and, and sell all three of those sets. Those sets of three. Yeah. They said six. 
Yep, so you're going to put one dude in, cost you two coins. Over to you, Sarah. What are you going to do for your last person? Um, I'll put it in the... Um... The number three space in the village. Number three space in the village cost you one coin. You mean for the market? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Los Piedos, are you putting your last guy in on the harbour? And six again. Yeah. yeah. So another two coins. Done. 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 Right. Green can come back here. Purple goes back there. Purple, you get the first player marker. There you go. Purple, and you get, get other stuff, right? Oh, sorry, you do. You get a discovery point. There you go. Done. Uh, purple, you get to claim one item from the temple. What do you want to take? The mummy. Of course you do. Take the mummy. All of these go. And then I get a freebie. You do, you do, you All do. A blind let's, one. Yes, let's just uh, clean this up. What do you get? What do you get? You get a tablet. Done. You get to have these two cards, plus you also get a victory point. Done. Over to me. I get to have these two cards. Take all my guys back, all <laughs> determined, uh, and I get to have <clears throat> a discovery point, which also awards me a victory point. Done. Los Piros, you get your two. My goodness, you got so many weapons. It's unbelievable. I mean, you, you've got a small army going on. Um, you get a coin. Done. Nobody in four. Over to five. Sarah. You can have one of the uh, upgrades. The bottom stay, it's three for two? Three for two, yes. And then the other one is what? Uh, it's two coins plus one discovery plus, uh, and you get one point at the end of the game. Oh, uh, we'll take the three for two. I think, yeah. So you're going to have that. That goes there. You get your three coins. Was it three coins? I think it was one, two, yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, free coins, yeah. Done. Okay. And so we can we can well we'll do Las Piras first. So you basically can sell not up to well it's nine cards basically you can give away. I think Torpedo is gonna win this, just so you know. Well, yet to yet to score, but we'll see. So nine cards. So what did you want to go for? You've got, well, you've got your, yes. So you've got three, a set of three for your mummies. So that would be ten points. I guess it makes sense to sort of do it in the items that give you the most points, yeah? There's another set of three, two, three. There's another set of three. That would make the most sense from the cards that you have. So in total, that's 20 points that you would score. Two weapons uh, sets with the extra money. Yes, so let's put the extra, just because you're a good point. Swap that one for that there. That's done. Okay, so that's 20 points. Wow. Boom. Done. Well, let's see what else happens. Uh, oh, my goodness me. Oh. oh. <laughs> we are being schooled, Sarah. <laughs> we are being schooled. You know what, though? I'm the winner, let's be honest tonight, because I understood all the rules already. Wow, this and is... A, think, this is. I think for me to pick up the rules that quickly on a game, I think, is the ultimate win. <laughs> so, so in addition, it's two victory points. One, two. It's one, two, three, four discovery points. So jump all the way to here. So that's an additional victory point and a coin. Done. And then it's an additional three coins. Oh my goodness. Done. Awesome, awesome round. Awesome round. Uh, I trade in my three mummies. That gets me ten points. 
So I'm at 15, I get to 25. No bonuses. Rubbish. Right. Clear up the market. Move the plane. Round four. Three new market tiles. What do we have? What do we have? Can I work it out? Uh, two coins for every time you sell a tablet, plus two victories. One coin on the one move point on the discovery plus two points at the end of the game. You can trade in three coins for one discovery point. Done. Uh, let's work out final, uh, well, nearly final. So, Sarah, you are going to be going first. So let's uh, just sort this out now. So, vase, vase, tablet. Yeah, I Weapon. didn't collect enough artifacts. I think that's. I think I think that the way to win this game is collect artifacts. I wasn't collecting enough. Well, you know, we, we know what it's like that when we play a game for the first time, we are literally just learning how everything works. When we play it again, that's when we're really playing the game, yeah? All right, I will roll your meeples so that you know what you've got to work with. Uh, you got one, st two, two standing up. Two standing up. Two coins. And two. Do you know what? I, I like rolling these meeples more than I like rolling <laughs> dice. Oh, no. In, in di three standing up. Ha, ha, ha. There are three meeples standing up. Um, two black. One white. And then you've got your hero wild card. Okay. How many meeples are standing up? Uh, oh, not as much luck this time, I'm afraid. So, three wild cards and four white. <clears throat> okay, done. Yeah, his, his, uh, his players are, are sobering up throughout the game. <laughs> yes. Uh, no, not not good for me either. So one wild card, three white, two black, and a hero. Okay, Sarah. Uh, you've got uh -huh. three. Let's just change that. So that's a three. There's another three. So let's just change those. So you've got, oh, is that a coin? Oh my goodness, you've got coins under coins. Okay, there's another lot of coins. My goodness, you're doing all right. You've got 15 coins. Okay, I'm gonna take um, two black plus one of my wilds. Yes. And put it on two, three C. <clears throat> two black. One of your wilds. Okay. Done. And Los Piros. You got three wilds and four white. Free white on free A. Free white on free A.
Ooh, here we go. Dilemmas. I'm going to put in two black and two wild cards. Oh, hang on a second. I've got to put them with white, haven't I? Uh, -huh. uh, -huh. okay. So I'm going to put in, yes, because I've got to follow the suit that you've done. So that is four whites going on in. I kick out your three whites. Over to Sarah. Um, I'm going to put one of my wilds in number one. You, you mean you can't because you own the first player marker? I can't put that there? Nope. To if you're talking about no, no, bonus? oh you mean you mean you mean the um for the coin yeah you can do it for the coin but but position one is the first player mark position and you can't do that I know but if I put it there that means I get to keep it no you don't that's the whole it does actually say oh. there's a little indicator that says if you are in possession <laughs> of it you can't go that place okay then never mind um it's, just, we'll it's, put... to, it's to stop you doing exactly what you want to, to do. <laughs> okay, we'll put my um one of my wilds into six. One of your wilds into six. That cost you two coins. Ruin everything. No, you should know these things. Okay, I figured out all the other rules. <laughs> okay. Uh, Los Pedos, what do you want to do? What cards do you still have? You have two weapons, you have two ceramic, and you have one mask. You have three wild cards and four white. Position four on two. Uh, what? What are you? It's going to be a white, isn't it? Are you just using an ordinary white? Yeah. Cost you two coins. I am going to put my white on position one. Cost me five coins. Over to Sarah. Um. 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 Let's put one of my wilds on four. One of your wilds on four. Done. Los Pedos. You have three wilds, three white.
White on free money, roll for hero. Okay, no joy there, but you get yourself a coin. You got four coins. Oh, damn it. <laughs> ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> um yeah I'm gonna put no actually put him into the harbor there you go okay over to Sarah put my white um in area two Position two. Put your white area two, position two, cost you four. Done. Last pedos. What's the difference between six and seven? Uh, seven, you can sell um, six of your things, but also seven, though, is a bidding spot. It is, and because I went in first, you it's got to be black color. Which, how many do you have in there? Just one? I have one in there. You can outbid him. You have three wilds, so you could put down three black. And if you put down all three of your wilds as black, then he can't beat you. And you'd be able to sell six, sell six of your cards. If that's what you wanted to do. <laughs> You could also beat him with just putting two in there, but he could match that, I guess. Okay, there you go. Two wild as black is what, what he wants. Two wild as black. Okay. Put those in there. Because technically, well, you can't outbid him then, right? You can't like put equal numbers. No, I've got to, I've got to put okay. in more now, and of course, I okay. can't. Yeah. So he has done what he wanted to do. Uh... So I'm going to put one in on the harbour. Cost me two. Done. Over to you, Sarah. Um, I'll go for the... Um, I'll go for the number three spot in in area two. Okay, cost you three coins. Done. Last Peters. You've got one wild card and two white. Position five in two. Uh, what are you putting in? It's going to cost white. you one coin. It's white. White. <clears throat> that Sorry. there. I'm going to put black in there. Sarah, you've you've used every up, so you've got basically one white and one wild card left. Green. Are 
The hero on six. Okay. Cost you two uh, money. Get you one left. Okay, your final guy goes on four. Uh, what, he hero on four? Hero on four. So you can have your two money back. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, so you've got one white meeple left. Last on market, position three. Uh, cost you one. Right, that's it. We're done. Done, 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 done. So, green goes back. We get to the temple. It's me to go first. I get to choose two from the board here. I'm going to take the mask. I'm going to take the tablet. Me done. Purple. You get to two from the board. Well, three, you, you can take three from the board and you get one wild. Um, I will take the two bats. The two bats, yeah. And, um, and I guess a pottery. Uh, pottery, you either get a discovery point or you get a coin. Discovery. Discovery. Yes. Okay, done. Clear that up. Uh, you also get an additional one, which is a, an additional tap a tablet. Why'd you take the rest of them off? Somebody else oh. still got to pick from the board. Yeah. Hang on a second. How many? I was too, uh -huh. fast, there. too fast there. There was... So I'd taken two. You've taken two. You've taken five, hadn't you? So, yeah. So there's three left. So there you go. Those are the three that were left. Done. So, in fact, so Los Pilos, you get to take two from here and one wild. So, the two ceramics give you bonus coins. Uh, you have two ceramics already. No, we're getting close to the end, monkey. Can't. You gotta wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I'm trying to speed through because we're at nine o'clock already, aren't we? Yeah, but we only have one day left, and then we finish the whole game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which so we, two are you taking? A one, one Harry, one tablet. One Harry, one tablet. Okay, done. Put Harry over there. Get rid of that. Done. Now, you get rid of now we can speed through. All right. So all of my dudes come back. I get two tablets, and I get a point. Done. I get two... Harry's uh, and my dude comes back and I get a discovery point done purple you get to have two of those and you get a coin and your guys go back we go to the black market so ladies first uh, you can sell one of your cards that one isn't a bidding one correct Oh, it is, actually. Yeah, so since I would have been the first one there and they didn't put more than that, then I would have won, correct? You would, yeah. So just give them the... um. Is that a green one that's in there? Yeah. Just, get, just move them up to the lightning bolt and give them a coin for it. Yeah. Sorry, Los Piedos, we, we neglected. This is actually a bidding one, so you should have put more in than Sarah. So, it might have happened. My my mom tried to FaceTime me during one of the things, so I we'll, muted it and had to look away. <laughs> we'll we'll give you a coin. Uh, I mean, yeah. Uh, so, just looking at Sarah, you got bat bats. Ceramic, I think I have bat, three bats bat. and three. 
Yep. Free bats, free mummies. So you, it, it's uh, ceramics and uh, and tablets. But you uh, to... then let's sell. Um... Ceramics is the cheapest. Ceramic, yeah. Yeah, Dis- sell the discovery point one. That's probably yeah the least valuable. Okay, so you got seven in there. Let's put those back together. Done. We'll keep some of them out. It's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, over to the market. Los Piros, you can pick one of the upgrades. So which do you want? Uh, one where if you sell tablets, you gain two coins per tablet. One where you get a bonus discovery point instantly. Uh, one where you can trade in your money to receive b- bonus discovery points. Second. So this one here, you get yourself a bonus discovery point. Done. Those can go. He can go back there. Free Half. disc point is what they said. Pardon? Free disc point? <laughs> I don't know. That's what they typed. Three... The free discovery, discovery point. Yes, okay. that's what I did. Yes. So you got your free okay. discovery point. Uh, okay, Sarah, you can sell free cards. Are you selling your mummies? Yes. Okay. That gets you 10 points. It gets you 12 points and a coin. So there's a coin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, look at this. It's so close. Uh <sighs> I am going to sell my three tablets, which gets me seven points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But I also get three discovery points from selling them. So one, two, three, which gets me two coins. (coughs) It gets me an upgrade, which is, oh, whatever that is. I don't know what it is, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to put that in there, and I'll look about it in you a second. You can re-roll. I think you can, you can re-roll, re-roll two. Yes, two meeples. Um, and because I traded in three tablets, I get six coins. So six coins. Done. Uh Los Piros, then, you can trade in six cards. So, what have you got? You've got three ceramics. You've got two bats. Uh, So, you're going to get four, five, six, seven... Eight, you, you potentially got nine points. You, there's a combination of here of nine points and four coins. That is the, the best setup. So you just keep hold of the tablet. Yes, you happy with that? Okay. So that was nine points and four coins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, it's oh, it's all so close. Uh, four part coins. Dun 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 dun. Okay, we are now in the final day. Final day. All right. Uh, because some monkey was really dumb. <laughs> And neglected to see that uh, it was only white meeples that could go on in there. Sarah, you retain first player, and that means you've automatically got two extra points. So, so you've done all right. Let's see. Unless somebody gets that spot. Oh, hang on, hang on. We need to populate the board again. 
No, no. Uh, oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. You're quite thanks. right. Thanks for alerting everyone. No, oh, uh, sorry. Yes, I thought it would finish, but no, you're quite right because of course we still got a score. So somebody else. Oh, yes. Oh, everything to play for. Right. Okay. Sorry, Sarah. <laughs> uh, that wasn't the intention, but uh, my last little hope. There yeah. it went. Two points. Well, but, but, it, but we're so close. Two points could actually make it, couldn't it? Yeah, and won't you feel bad if I lose by two? I, I will no, actually, you I won't. Will actually, I will. <laughs> uh, five coins. Do the swappy meeple. Ooh, what's that? Oh, do you get to take a blind card? I'm going to have to look at that one because I've got no idea what it means. Uh, draw one additional artifact card on the third and fourth space of the temple. Keep one and place the other at the bottom of the deck. All right. Interesting. But com <laughs> completely pointless because you wouldn't have that upgrade when you got to this point. So, But it's worth two points. So the point values on these artifacts is, is one, two, and three. So still good. Uh, okay. Shuffly shuffle. Let's see what we get. Do 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 Oh yes, there's lots of tablet action going on here. Ah How can that be? Just in case, hang on. Right there. There should be an extra card. I'm not quite sure. I'm just going to take one randomly out of the uh the discard, but I would have thought that there was exactly the right number of cards. So let's just put this one in. Done. There you go. I will check that later on. Okay, so rolling meeples. Uh, what have we got? She's on her side. On her side. You got two wilds, three white, and two black. To green. Uh, it's a wild, it's a wild. There's one white and four black. Okay, over to me. It's a wild, wild, uh, two white, oh, three white, one black. Okay, over to you, Sarah. <clears throat> okay. Um, what are my objects that I have? You have three weapons, two tablets, one ceramic. Okay. Let's go with Let's go with position number two in section two. Okay. Cost you four coins. Green, over to you.
white on one. We talk, I assume we're talking about the market here. So it's cost you five. Oh, why not for the first player? <laughs> right, okay. Done. So that, yeah, okay, that's done. Right. Uh, I will go white on one over there. Back over to Sarah. <clears throat> How many bats do I have? <laughs> Three. Okay. They're weapons, they're not bats. They didn't have a cricket team, you know. Uh, um, let's put Put my two whites in a in a wild into three A. Oh no wait. Yeah, let's do that. Two whites and a wild into three A. Done. Green. Wild on position three on two. So Wild on position three, that costs you three coins. I'm going to put two whites in there. Purple. Um. Let's put. Hmm. One black at seven. One black at seven. Okay, green. Two black on seven. Oh, it's happening now. Sarah, you get your black back. I'm going to put four black on seven. So those green go back. Purple. Um. We'll put one of my blacks in six. One of your blacks in six. Cost you two coins. Green.
black on coin and then roll black. Okay. That gets you a coin. And then you're rolling one of your, right, rolling black. Okay. Rolling black. <laughs> it comes out as another black. Uh, back over to purple. Um, we'll put another purple in six. Another purple in six costs you two coins. Done. Over to green. Another roll. Okay, so I, I'm assuming another black going on in. Rolling another black. We'll do exactly the same as did before. And it comes out as a black. But you get a coin. Did I give you a coin? I don't think I did, did I? There you go. Uh, Sarah, over to you. You got your hero. Um. I'm going to put the hero into the number six spot as well. Hero into number six costs you two coins. Done. So green, it's all down to you now. You got two blacks, one wild card. Black position five on two. So that costs you one coin. You got a wild card and a black. Six for the black, costs you two coins. Done. You got wild card left. Three C for the hero. Done. Whoa. -ho 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 -ho. All right. Here we go. So those greens come back. Green takes the first player marker. We go to the market, or the temple, sorry. I am going to take two cards. I'm taking this headdress, and I am taking the tablet. That's me done. Purple, what are you taking? I'm going to take two tablets, one with the bonus. Yep, so two tablets. Done. Green, what are you taking from the temple? In a, this is honestly going to museums type of way. You're taking the tablet, okay. Tablet is gone. You get a, well, so this is it, you get... I think that's this this is actually that's why yes you must have to use your discard because of course you're taking cards uh from the random aren't you so okay so here we go <coughs> let's let's see if you're if you're really lucky so you get ceramics so he's done final one is one from this area
What do you want to take? There's two weapons, one that scores you a victory point and the mask. The headdress type thing. I don't know if the chat's frozen, Sarah. Um, it just says okay. <coughs> uh, well, okay. Uh, okay, so weapon, weapon with we bonus. Weapon with bonus. <laughs> All right, excellent. There we go. Done. So that goes there. We clean this up. Okay, Sarah, you get two headdress, and you get a victory point. Done. Monkey, I get. Oh, I completely miscalculated that. <laughs> um, and I get one of those points over there. Done. Green, you get those two and a coin. Done. No one's at the market, so we can clean all that up. Done. Uh, right, so, Sarah, in effect, you can sell nine cards. So should we yes. work, work out what is the best nine? Let's put these into groups. Okay. So there's a, a, a very obvious good group. There's another obvious good group and I would probably say yes there's your other one so that is uh, five seven so that's 12 uh, 12 13 14 15 16 17 points in that group there uh, but you'll also get 17 18 19 20 21 points plus a discovery point plus two coins. You happy with that? Okay. Yep, I think that's as good as it gets. So, did I say two coins? Yep. <clears throat> two coins out. You get a discovery point. So, you get you an extra coin. <laughs> Done all right there. And 21 points. Uh, so, that's 46. That's right, isn't it? Boom. Done. Waspiros, you can sell free cards. So let's find out what is your best free. It's going to be... Hmm. Oh, it potentially is the ceramics. So that's four, that's five points on your ceramics and two discovery points, which would allow you to pick up something from the uh, the market. You'll take a crate because failing that, it would be two cards. <laughs> two cards would get you four points, plus the bat would get you five points. Yeah. It's the ceramics, so it would be five five points total with two discovery points, allowing you to get uh, something from the market, uh, which is a random card from the top. I'll just have to change them over and uh, pick one for you. So, are you happy with that? Going with my judgment. I'm afraid my chat is frozen, so I can't I can't tell if you're saying yes. I'm going to assume you are. So let's go with those five points. I'm going to put those cards just in case. So one, two, three, four, five. Two of those. Let's just... Because uh, these have flipped up. We don't want that. So your random tile is this one? Oh, so... Ooh, what is that? Ah, 
It would have meant that spaces cost was one less, but it means you've got one extra victory point. So, so that's cool. But we'll come to that bit in a second. That's you done. I can bring all these dudes back. I can sell six cards. So I'm selling my headdress, which is eight plus two coins. And I'm selling the And I'm selling the tablets. There's no advantage to getting that extra point, is there? I'm going to get the coin instead. So there you go, there's my six. So that's eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's 13 points. So let's count that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It's exactly 50. I get one uh, bone discovery point. It takes me on to 10, which gets me four points. So I start back down here. And I get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 coins. So I'll take those two. Trade that back in. Done. Okay. Those are all done. Right. So. Uh, final, final scoring. So the owner of the first player marker gains two points. Oh, hang on a second! I've been scored. I've scored you. I gave you fifteen. Po hang on. <laughs> I've moved. I've, I've I've given you all the points, Los Pinos. <laughs> so hang on a second. Did I say I got fifth? How many points was that? Oh, what a monkey! Why did anybody stop me? So that's four, that's five. Uh, that's eight. That's 12. 13, 14, 15, that's 16 points. Did I give you six? I gave you 16 points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Was it there? <laughs> so you were at 37 and I got 17 points. Yes. Hello, uh, is that Big Monkey 360? <laughs> so I'm scoring 17 points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So actually it did work out. There you go. I got up to the to the fifty, right? I think we I think we're correct. I think we uh we've managed to resolve that. So final two points for green for having the two the first player marker one two. Each player gains one victory point for every three coins. Sarah, you've got one. You've got two points. One two. Los Pedos, you've got one point. Monkey, you've got three points. One, two, three. Players add victory points for their upgrades, including ones that are in their discard piles. So, let's take a look. Sarah, what have you got? Oh, very good. Uh, you've got Ooh, seven, I seven got points. Speed. That's what I got. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. You're finishing at 55. Los Piros, you have three additional points. 
One, two, three. You're finishing at 43. Monkey. Got five points. One, two, three, four, five. Finishing at 58. And that was Quetzal. That was awesome. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> What did you think, Sarah? Um, I think had I had those extra two points, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is. It is. It's very close. It's very <laughs> close. I I enjoyed it. I liked it. It was easy to pick up on it. Yeah. Oh, he said, "What about what about the top right track?" Um, you score the points. As you progress through, so those have already been included as we were playing. So there's no additional. The uh, There was nothing I could have got to try and get up to the final point where I would have got uh, an additional six victory points on it. Uh, that's as far as I could get. So you managed to join the course, uh, Los Pinos. You got an extra coin, excuse me, uh, an extra victory point and the upgrade um, from the marketplace. So, I get with worker placement games, sometimes there are elements in the game where it's not worth focusing in. They're kind of red herrings a little bit because they distract you from where there are other areas in the game where there's loads of points to be had. Because um, you want it all, don't you? Uh, yeah, I, I think, I think it, this is a lot of fun and it's a great... I say I'm not going to say it's a beginner game because it's not because it's there's a reasonably you know mm -hmm. um, meaty elements to sort of you know get your heads around a little bit but it's a good introduction to worker placement games um, you know if you've never played a game like this before you would you would really you know get something from it uh, and yeah yeah you know again this is the thing good sign of a game is that you know we're we're playing it. A, through the medium of online here. Everybody has been able to pick up on the rules and been able to follow along, and Los Piros there has actually taken part in it. Um, so that just says just how well it communicates and that uh, people can just pick this game up and just start running with it uh, very, very quickly. And certainly, once you've played it once, the second time we play this will be very, very competitive because we'll know exactly what we're doing and where the, uh, the pitfalls might be. Yeah, yeah and if we had... Three people on chat. We'd definitely probably be able to get it done within the time limit. Oh, 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 yes, yes, yes. That was fun. Thank you for having me to play this game. It's no, real you... pretty too. It's nice and colorful. Well, here you go, because you haven't really seen the box. But look, even the box is done like a chest. Oh, that's cool. You know what I mean? So it, it's Those it's are the little extras that are that are nice. Exactly. Yes. So yeah. even um. And just to quickly show you, because I say if you only had two players, there is the sort of the automatum uh, sort of side to it. So these cards tell you where the third player goes and what their choices and decisions are. So you basically draw up the next card. It gives you the decision. That's where you put their meeples down. Uh, and there's a whole host of random. So that's quite cool. Uh, it can take up to five players. So, you know. Typical f good family size. So there you go. That's the game. Um, and I'll say, I hope I, I can say it right. So, uh, Gigamic, Gigamic, Gigamic. Uh, I believe that they might be a French publisher. Uh, so this game is available now in the UK from, gonna get it right. Hachette, uh, oh god, I, I, I keep on getting it wrong. Hachette, 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 yes, Hachette Board Games UK. Um, they're bringing in lots of awesome, awesome games from Europe to the uh, UK board game marketplace. Uh, this is just one of them. We will be taking a look at more games uh, from them in the next coming weeks. Uh, I don't know. What 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 I think we'll I think next week we will be traveling in space. I think that's what we're going to do next week. 
Oh. So we're going to go. We're going to go somewhere much, much further afield than. Have, uh, have we traveled to space before, or is this a new traveling in space? It, it's a new traveling in space. Oh. Yes, it's brand new traveling in space. Um. So yes. Well, you know, watch this space, as they say. Well, is it okay if I say good night and Absolutely. hop off of here so I can go off and do whatever I want without needing to worry about muting? <laughs> <laughs> you go and cough your head off, no problem, uh, no problem at all. Thank you so much for, for joining us. Yeah, and thanks for having me. I really do like this game. This was this was a fun game. Of course, it was fun. I I figured out how to play it. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Thanks, Sarah. I really did like it. Lovely graphics. Lovely game. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Okay, so our thanks to Sarah and to Los Piros on the chat for playing tonight's game of Quetzal. Uh, yep, a lot of fun. Thoroughly enjoyed uh, playing. Uh, I'm looking forward to bringing this to the table again. Uh, do, of course, check it out uh, if you wanted to... Uh, Grab yourself a copy. I, I think it would be a, a nice addition to your collection. So look forward to seeing you next week. But until then, bye for now.